In this Madden 22 video, we're going to be breaking down what I believe to be one of the best flooding concepts or max protect uh, bunch concepts in Madden 23. This is going to be really effective at a, this is basically a shot play. It's a deep bomb. It's a way in which you can attack the defense. If they're still trying to send some pressure, you want to get some pass protection. It's a great setup in Madden 22 as well. Uh, but this is something that I really like in Madden 23, at least in the beta. And I think it's going to, I think it's going to stay very effective. And it's the bunch trail play out of the Washington football teams or Washington commanders offensive playbook now Washington bunch in my opinion is going to be the best bunch day one in Madden 23 and so if you want to learn my entire uh, Washington bunch ebook in Madden 22 link is in the description to join our patreon it's got everything you need uh, to break down this playbook we actually broke broke down several different bunch offenses in Madden 22 um, but anyways we're planning to release a Washington ebook day one of Madden 23 as well so be on the lookout for that but if you join the Patreon you get access to the Madden 22 stuff and the Madden 23 stuff you get access to all of our content all of our material so if you want to check that out the link is down in the description we're really really excited to talk to you today about the bunch trail uh, play and why it's going to be so good in Madden 23 um, so really I think the couple reasons the first one is I think the best coverage in the game uh, at least right now is the cover two, which is ironic because in Madden 20, um, in Madden 22, cover two is one of the worst coverages in the game. Uh, but anyways, what you're going to see is some kind of blitz that essentially mirrors this right here. It's a cover two blitz. Um, and all we're going to do with this play is block our tight end and block our running back. Now, let's say you're watching this video and you're like, I don't really like blocking my running back. You can wheel him. Um, but the running back, I think, is one of the most important pieces of pass protection in Madden 23, whereas in Madden 22, it's not super important. But when you block your running back, another real quick pro tip is you want to ID the corner on the left side of the screen. Uh, really helps with picking up loop pressure. And this is basically the setup. And why I think this is such a good play is if they're in a cover two defense, this post is going to just kill the cover two and notice that you can actually aggressive catch it if the safety is anywhere near you you can always just click on an aggressive catch this and it makes it really really effective but again this is a cover two blitz so we're sending five um actually i think technically we're going to send six with this uh but what you'll see here is you know as long as we don't get this glitchy a gap um and i'm getting shedded primarily because it's practical but you see the post is wide open now another thing that you need to be aware of is you know kind of understanding the primary way that they're going to use her and really typically that means they're going to be over the middle of the field so if they're over the middle of the field this route to circle is really good and then if they're playing hard flats on the outside this route to rb gets over the top of a hard flat so as you can see right here if they're going to play hard flats this makes them have to play cloud flats well against bunch is really really difficult in my opinion to play a consistent defense without having a hard flat and having a cloud flat. I just really think that's a hard way to play bunch. You really kind of need that double flat to take away the flooding concepts. So if that's the case and they're gonna do something like that, well now you'll notice that this creates a high low over the middle. So if he guards circle as he does right there, then I can have this post over the middle of the field. Now let's say that the linebacker drops back to cover the post um, and we're gonna get into something else with this in just a second. But let's say that the linebacker drops back over the middle to cover the post and they're still going to do their double flat, right? Whether it be the uh, vert hook and a cloud, it, it typically is going to be double flat. OK, so they're going to have a cloud on that side to take away that. And then they're going to have their user drop back to defend the post. Well, now you got the whole middle of the field for this route right here to be able to get open over the middle. OK, so that's one of my favorite routes uh, for doing just that. The last or the next thing I want to show you is I think that man-to-man -man is going to be really, really meta, uh, but they're going to have to put the safety in a purple against Bunch Trail, and I'll show you why. So let's say they have a outside third or inside third. If they, even if you're playing this Bunch Trail play and you have like this inside uh, third to stop the post, what you'll see here is that this corner route, it just gets really glitchy separation. And I just want to tell you right now in Madden 23, that is probably the best man-beating route in the game the corner route is really important to have in your offense next year so the corner route does a really good job of beating man to man so what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to purple 
this defender so that they can get out there and stop the corner route. Well, if you think about it, now they're going to have, we're kind of working back into that same situation or same scenario where they're having to choose. Are they going to guard the post or are they going to guard the drag route? Now, this drag route's not the greatest in Madden 22. As you see here, it is going to get great separation. But I promise you in Madden 23, this is one of the best man beating routes in the entire game. Um, these little mesh routes are really, really valuable in Madden 23. Um, they've actually made them really, really, really good. These little um, like shallow cross drags, they're kind of, I, I'm pretty sure, depending on alignment, they're unbumpable. So as you see here, because he's off the ball, I think he's unbumpable, at least in Madden 23. Now in Madden 22, sometimes he's not, but as you see how good this is, okay? So they're gonna have to basically use that route. That route is gonna get open every single time. And as you can see, it's absolutely busting man-to-man uh, -man coverage. So they're gonna have to take their user, and this is just to simulate the user, and they're gonna have to have a hard flat um, over in this area. So let me see and make sure this guy's on a hard flat here. Now we're gonna have a purple here, okay? So this is just kind of mirroring like the user lurking the drag across the formation. And now what you're gonna notice is this is going to leave a lot of room over the top for this post uh, to be able to work. Now it's not gonna always win. A lot of times it really is a speed thing, but this is, um, if it doesn't win, there's a couple things you can do. So let's say that you're watching your post and your post just doesn't look like it's going to get over the top of the coverage. One of my favorite tricks um, with this is to throw it on the cut and basically aggressive catch it right there and aggressive catch cut it off. I think that's one of the most underrated things about Bunch Trail that most people don't know in terms of how to beat it against me and a man is to be able to do something like what I just showed you. Uh, I really think that's a very vital tip uh, with this route because if you can do that, that is basically unguardable and in, in, in press man. He's always going to get that inside cut, inside cut. Where it kills him is if his speed is bad. But as you see here, if you get this animation where he's going to go over the top, now you've got a bomb against man-to-man -man coverage. Press man is one of the hardest things to beat in Madden 23. And this play right here is going to give you the tools uh, to be able to do that. Now, the last coverage that I wanted to visit in this video um, or to, to talk about in this video would be a cover three blitz or a cover three um, just a cover three in general. Uh, it doesn't have to be actually a pressure, but what you're going to see is this is just a double flatted uh, cover three with the with the user lurking in the middle, and this is really good because again, this little uh, uh, drag is going to basically sit in the middle of the field when he crosses if it's zone coverage. So you can read zone coverage, and I can throw that right there, or I can wait on this and throw this once he crosses the face of the safety. This bomb is still really effective in Madden 23. And it's just something that I think, you know, if you master this this route, it really is one of the better plays, at least going into day one of Madden 23 that you're gonna have because of its ability to force the user to have to make a decision. Am I gonna guard the post or am I gonna guard the drag? And like I said, if you're not getting blitzed a lot, if they're running a lot of coverage, then I really like to uh, just take Bernard and put him on a wheel and put the running or the tight end on a flat. This is going to really help this play a lot because now the whole middle of the field is open, as you see right there, and we can just throw the ball to our check down. This is one of my favorite plays in Madden 22, but I really think that this play is going to go to a whole other level in Madden 23, and I think if you start mastering it right now, you're going to help yourself out a lot going into next season. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn my entire bunch offensive ebook, make sure that you join our Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up for that. Get you access to all of our ebooks, including the Gun Bunch. You can sign up by clicking the link down in the description below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.